今日好开心咧，请到 Tina 咧教我哋做一个纯素版嘅焦糖炖蛋喎。咁啊，非常之滑啦、嫩啦，同埋个焦糖咧系非常之脆同埋好味嘅。而家请教一下 Tina 有咩秘诀啦？ O.K. Tina， 嗱、yes. ，純素版嘅焦糖燉蛋咧，就係冇雞蛋嘅成分喺裡面啦。咁係靠啲乜嘢去凝固嘅咧 ？So you have seen,、uh, we set the creme brulee with agar agar. So agar agar is a seaweed, but it's a, in the form of powder.、Uh, it's、uh, used a lot in the Japanese cooking to make cakes and other custard. And、uh, this is going to give the texture of the solid creme brulee. But then the creaminess is from the cashew nuts.、Oh. Because you are going to cook the cashew nuts, and this will make the creme brulee very smooth. So this is 185 gram. I put all inside, and then I'm using、uh, raw cane sugar. Everything goes inside. This one is 100 gram.、Mm. Uh, the portion we are doing today is for five people of creme brulee, and then what we add? We add、um, black salt. So black salt is my secret ingredient to have the taste like、uh, egg.、Oh. So this is a salt, is high in sulfur. Sulfur is the comp component of the egg, so it gives the egg flavor. Okay. And then what do we have? So this is the agar agar.、Uh, the cacao butter is already melted, and this is the water. So the water is warm water, all of it. So this is 500 ml. Okay. We use the whole vanilla. Yes,、okay. because we want the intense vanilla flavor. Let me try it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> When you see the bubbles start to come,、oh. you will find oh, it's like something happening. It's、uh, more difficult to turn, and then you will see the texture is becoming sticky.、Oh, then it's good. Make sure you go in the corner so that、uh, it's not sticking on the side.、Mm. So we are going to put 100 gram. And now we need to put in the fridge until it's cooled down. So it、oh. might take、uh, maybe two hours. Some sugar on the top.、Mm. Uh, I suggest you make it just、uh, last minute before you bring to the guests because. The cream is wet, and this is caramel. So water and caramel is going to melt the caramel.、Mm. So, so, but if you、uh, let it too too long, then it's no more crispy on the top because、mm. the caramel is melted. So that's the whole idea. Ah, Tina, you can make so many delicious choices. Do you take the mood of the place? It depends on the mood, but. <laughs> Okay.、Um, I grew up in France, and there are some、uh, some dessert or some food. Sometimes I miss, and then so this inspired me to recreate the recipe on the vegan style. So I know how to swap some ingredients from some other one to create the same result, and I will try to recreate some、uh, old style recipe from my childhood. But I used to be jewelry designer, so this is、uh, after being fashion designer, I became jewelry designer, and it's the same creative process. So I used to pick the stones and it. Put them together to create a, a piece, and then when I, I, I go to the market and I see some very nice ingredients,、mm -hmm. this is the same thing. So it's the same creative idea to create a dish. 嗱，咁誒甜品啦，同埋主菜兩方面啦，你自己中意做邊一樣多啲啊 ？It's different, but I like them both. Desserts are always the winner.、Ah. Everybody tell me, oh, I don't like sugar, <laughs> but you bring the dessert, they will finish it. <laughs> <laughs> So,、um, of course,、uh, recreating vegan dessert is very rewarding because when you bring to the to the customer, they are going to fall in love and then can create this flavor, this flavor. And I like to play with flavors because this is my strength. Creating new cakes and new new flavors that's that's very、uh, very nice and exciting.、Mm. But a main course also make people satisfied. So. I like both. I cannot say I like more this one and this one. It's a different way of approaching food. I also want to know, ah, how many ah Tina, you made for how many customers? And why did you choose this one? I'm a vegan since 2015.、Uh -huh. 2015 is the time I have my second child. Oh, okay. So you have been vegan for a long time. Yes, 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 for a long time. Y
And my second vegetarian restaurant, same name Maya Cafe, uh, was vegan. So for me, at that time, it makes no sense. My restaurant is vegan, but I'm not vegan. I, I was already vegetarian, so I just quit cheese because that was the last thing I was eating. You know, French, no cheese, is no life. <laughs> so uh, I quit cheese and say, okay, and then I'm vegan, right? So it's okay, I'm vegan since 2015. But I have been vegetarian for 25 years. And um, when I start being vegetarian, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm fashion designer. Are you, uh, people always saying fashion design is like, oh, it's so, so glamorous. Actually, you work like so many hours. Yeah, it's, and then I realized that if I don't eat meat and I just eat like uh, maybe seafood or fish and vegetable, I have more energy. So that's my beginning. And then suddenly uh, quitting the fish and then quitting the eggs and quitting everything except the cheese. And then that's my, my way. So why do you go to Hong Kong to develop your food business and not other places? Because it's, it's easier, right? Um, I was based in Hong Kong. I'm living in Hong Kong for 25, 26 years already. And then um, I started uh, my first restaurant. It was just casual. Uh, vegetarian and casual vegan and then I start doing pop-up dinner and pop-up dinner in different different locations mm. and those pop-up were more like in fine dining uh, version and then I start doing pop-up uh, also in other uh, countries like uh, I did in Kuala Lumpur and I was planning to do some in Singapore people pe people asked me to go there and some in Japan but then uh, it was the time of the protest and then after the protest we had the COVID and then I never go and finally open the restaurant here. So that is what happened. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you.